Boils, ghouls, good morning. Phoenix is putting his track into the box because we are going to be going to, where are we going? To Grandma and Papa. That's right, Grandma and Papa. Well, Mom and Dad's. Before we go, we have to decommission Phoenix's pumpkin. It's gonna be sad. I wanted it to last forever, but it can't last forever. So this is what I'm talking about right there. We gotta take all the stickers off so we can recycle the pumpkin. Put it in the yard waste. Um, I can't see it. I know, my windows are dirty. <laughs> oh, I can see that. Did you just stick your finger in? I told you it was rotted. Pumpkin pie in there. There's pumpkin pie in there? Yeah, it is pumpkin Stick pie. Stick your finger in there again. I mean, I wanna... <laughs> we gotta take all this stuff off. Can you help Daddy? Ew. Ew, that's disgusting. Ew. It's like rotting flesh. Ew. I know. <laughs> Do it again. Oh yeah, there's little bugs on it too. This is all sorts of cool. This is like a zombie pumpkin. Can you make a zombie noise again? Oh, no, no, a zombie. There you go. Do it again, do it louder. Look at snail. That's a maggot. No, that's a caterpillar. What does that one say? <laughs> Finally some peace and quiet. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. We're gonna go see if it's like yeah. explodes. Yeah. Hey, wrong way, Phoenix. This way. <laughs> Pumpkin drop in three, two, one. Yeah. Well, that wasn't too exciting, but it sure was gross. Ew. <sighs> it was nasty. Man. It was nasty. I there we go. You've heard of pineapple upside down cake. What about pizza upside down? Yep, and trains. But anyway, where are we headed? To Grandma and Papa's. That's right. So we're headed to Grandma and Papa's, AKA Mom and Dad. I think I've already said that like three or four times today. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna get there and we're a little I'm early. I'm four, I'm four. You're four? Yes. No. Yes, I am. You're right, you are absolutely four. I'm hilarious. <laughs> You're hilarious? Yeah. Then what am I? I'm funny. Yeah. Just funny? Yeah. I'm funny and you're hilarious? Yeah. We're here. He is sawing logs. Big ol' hundred year thick tree logs. Go look at the boy in the mirror. Go. Go look. <laughs> See? Oh, you guys haven't seen this yet. That's what that is. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, one fun is you ride in one of the wind. So yeah. All right, so I wanted to make sure I did this before it got too much darker. Run around. I want to chase you. <laughs> yeah. So, back in... 1970 whatever, whenever The Shining was made. What? <laughs> they actually uh, uh, developed the Steadicam. And that's how they were able to get the footage of the boy like running through the, the snow in the, in, the, uh, in the maze, through the bushes. Um, that's how they were able to get such good footage. And that's why this is gonna be so cool for the haunt. It's because it's stable. Right? Yeah. Look out! Look out! <laughs> okay, so this 
this right here is complete handheld. So you can see the total difference of the type of footage that it gets. Steadicam, much better. <laughs> Go to daddy's truck. Okay, not in the road, not in the road. <laughs> What's that? That is for the birds. Birds, come over here. You forgot your watch. <laughs> All right, dinner time. Pizza. Cannot go wrong with pizza and what's left of coffee. We just got home and I know he's going to be blurry, but oh, he's all tuckered out. <laughs> all right, guys, we're home. Boils, ghouls, it is time for COC. Cock as an acronym. Again, it's not too late right now, but I don't want it to get too late, so we're going to just cruise through this and we're going to try and do it quietly also because. For the first time, I transferred Phoenix from the car seat where he was sleeping, you just saw that, to his bed, and he's still sleeping. So that's awesome. That is so cool. And here come the yawns. Jolson, I still win. Andrew's videos, really Jolson? Again, dang it. Ramthal, great stuff from Dana. Absolutely, wonderful things from Dana. But Creasy, how did you know about the side of the intro? Refresh my memory, I have no idea what you're talking about. Indica, I could send you a ton of boxes from work for you and Phoenix to make a box fort. That would be fun. Still looking for some props for you. I may be able to get you some discount costumes for or from my work for the haunt if needed, since I'm the costume master. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, maybe we should talk. Phoenix Fire 71, okay, that was one of my favorite vlogs because I love playing in boxes. The muhaha part in the truck was hilarious. Uh, the sarcophagus is awesome. What a cool gift. I know. I was like shocked when I opened it. It was like, holy crap. Jamie Shea, when you and Phoenix were in the box together, that was so cute. Boxophobic. <laughs> I know. Sometimes, no. I, was, I don't want to toot my own horn, but sometimes I can be funny and I think of funny things. Other times I just repeat the same funny thing over and over again and try to make it fresh. <laughs> Damn it, 353. It's all for the haunt, but that doesn't mean that you can't use the candle sconce inside. Glad you like it. Haunters for life. Again, Dana, thank you so much. Joseph Blau, great vlog, Troy. Hi, Phoenix. Thank you. Baldy Jack, mine's in the gutter. Of course. You're right down here with me. I'm in the gutter. I like the gutter. It's comfortable in here. Carrie Ann Olson, I have two white with green-eyed cats. I think they're ceramic. Do you think you could do something with them? Um, I don't know. Can you send me a picture on Facebook? Emerald Gypsy Heart, Phoenix should do Red Rum again. Yeah, I've got that outro. It's still in the mix. I just haven't played it for obvious reasons, so I don't know. And you also say um, how appropriate that his beard fell off. It happened in real life. Actually, one or two of the museum workers broke in, then tried to fix it, damaging it more. Wow, I didn't know that. That is awesome. I mean, not awesome that it happened, but cool that history repeats itself. And you also say, I love the time you share with Phoenix with us, blurred or unblurred. It's wonderful to see you smile, or to see the smile reach your eyes now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, he's my guy. He's my boy. The Energized. Phoenix just lights up everyone's day. That kid is one ball of energy and a joy to watch. I enjoyed him saying my name too. Kisses to you, sweet boy. Awesome gift from Dana. Um... Yes, and yeah, and, and thank you also. That was cool. Drop Dead Barry. Looks like a great day for great gifts. Yes, it was. And final comment of the night, Jason McDougall. Great vlog. I've always wondered, is it hard to make Phoenix blurred out in the clips? The way that I do it, no, it's not. I just cut, cut, and basically add the, the blur to it, which is just like two clicks. Now, if I was to blur only like his face, that's where it gets to be like a pain in the butt and that's why I do what I do um, or else you know I would do it that way because it, ultimately it'd be better if I could just blur his face happy haunting guys thank you for watching see you tomorrow shh be quiet he's sleeping hi Baldy Jack here 
Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to Halloween Hellmouth. Or I'll bite your brain.